Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing on Elite Iron Man mode with Historical AI. I'm playing as the Soviet Union and we're going to see what we can accomplish today. This is an OP build and we're going to try to take over Poland, then Germany, then the rest of the world. So we still have a little piece of Finland here to conquer. A little thorn in my side. I do not want to leave them, you know, alone and then make a landing or something at some point. So we're going to put our fleet on naval invasion orders. And I've got a little naval invasion ready to go. So we'll have that fire off. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I make a AA template by hitting duplicate. This is my standard infantry template. I'm just going to make it AA, change the little icon to the skull with the chevrons behind it, and we'll go support anti-air. Boom. We're done. So that should help us tremendously with our piercing capabilities. So it says AA, but it is really there to handle armor. So I'm just going to change some of my divisions here to incorporate anti-aircraft. And we should be able to pierce. I'm thinking up north. So as I said in the previous video, Norway is going to come in on the Allies side eventually because Germany is going to get a war goal against them. So my question here is, do they need AA guns? I seriously doubt it. And even if they had tanks up here, it would be a very high attrition. So I'm going to leave that army without AA guns. Okay, so there. this is going to have to go several times. But hopefully Nikolai Vatutin uh, gets, he's already got infantry expert, but hopefully he gets uh, amphibious assault. That will help quite tremendously. Okay, we're going to get claims on Poland. Yeah, so this first invasion is going to fail. And through my testing, that's what typically happens. But this guy's going to have to grow and get better. Ooh, they're going to go over there, huh? Okay, let's move this guy to a different army. So that doesn't keep happening. Okay, I'm just going to wait uh, for these guys to get their organization up, and then we'll go again. Yeah, come back in there. The scientists are back from Germany, I guess. We're not affected by the scientists defecting. So we're just going to have to rinse and repeat this naval invasion a couple of times. Uh, they should get out of equipment there soon, I'm hoping. Now where is it having to move to? for them to be a part of, but that's okay. Maybe I should put him in with them. Maybe that'll help. For some reason, I've tried to get, it says, division still preparing, negative 20%. Well, I've never been able to get that to not be like that, I guess. Um, 
when I'm doing this naval invasion, so I've just stopped to, uh, trying. Man, they're still holding strong. It's tough. So I don't think there's any disadvantage to just having them attack right away. Alright, we're going to modify the government, and I really think that the stability figurehead is going to be the best. Because, as you can see, our stability is low because of the purges. But our factory output is way lower because the stability is down. So we're going to put in Mikhail Kalin. Uh, I'm sure I butchered that name. But basically, our stability is going to go back up, and we're going to have higher factory output. I think that that's the way to go. Typically, I choose military leaders at that point, uh, but in this case, we're going to go that way. Okay, we're going to do a claim on Bresbaria, so we should have claims on Poland. So let's go through here and click everything we can. It doesn't look like we can. We need 18 more political power, so this needs to be 24. Once that's uh, we have 24 political power, we'll go ahead in. It doesn't look like we're really breaking those guys down. Okay, more concentrated industry. I'm waiting for this guy to get better. The successful purge. In the wake of the foundation of the Fourth International, the hunt for Trotsky's supporters was intensified, and several people close to Stalin were executed, left with no one but himself. Stalin has retreated to his mansion uh, with every treacherous friend and family member finally dealt with. He can now find some rest and focus fully on bringing glory to the Soviet Union. Oh my goodness. And we got Smirsch. Smirsch is completed. So the Trotskyist plot uh, dissolved there. So if you do exactly what I do, you shouldn't have to try to get this focus tree goal. It should happen automatically. So that's good to know. You don't have to waste your time trying to get that one. Okay, we're looking pretty good in terms of resources. Got that AA upgrade, and we're going to go for the improved anti-aircraft so we can get the improved piercing. It would be nice if I could filter into my tank divisions. So this is the basic template, the Soviet tank division. Let's give them recon, and let's give them some support artillery. If I see that they are not piercing, I'll give them like AA and something else. Okay, we really need more of that. We're probably going too many synthetic refineries. So we'll mix in some other production here. Oh, and we have plenty of air experience so let's create a variant we'll just make a variant to the fighter here and you want these guys to be able to continuously get in the air as fast as you can so you want to improve the engine first and that should significantly improve the amount of time they are up in the air and how fast they go so that'll be good this guy upgrades sometime soon. These defenders do not appear to be um, getting any weaker, actually. So that's not good. Hopefully I can just 
just get those guys to fight over and over again. Okay, so claims on Bresbaria, and then I've only done this demanding Poland. Demand Eastern Poland. I want to control all of Poland, though, so I'm going to do this one without touching that. I think that the most powerful thing to do next is to go through and rehabilitate the military. You get a 10% division recovery rate and a 2% reinforce rate. And then you get the land doctrine bonuses down there and there. So, yeah, let's rehabilitate the military. We want to be ready to attack Germany. And we want a good, strong military. So, yeah, I could go get political power. I could go get talented new officers. Excellent. Could get political power. Could go get some factories. Uh, I don't think that that's the way to go. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ignore this. And after we go down here um, and get that bonus, the bonuses to the land doctrines, we're going to go straight through here. So we're going to get political power and we're going to be able to get some military high command and the extra research slot. And there's another research slot down here. So we can get to five research slots. We only have three. It's a little concerning. Uh, you have to weigh. It's always a cost benefit analysis that you're conducting. all about upgrading this guy though. As soon as that guy is able to upgrade, we're good to go. The other thing is to force the issue and get Bresbaria, I think that we need to justify and try to claim it. So let's do that. Try to justify against as many states as I can there. So we'll see if we can force the issue to get Bresbaria. I'm pretty sure we can every time. So I'm not even going to line up troops over there. I know it's really risky. But that's what we're going to do. And Okay, demand Bresbaria, send the ultimatum. Got delay tactics. We're going to be able to start um, researching that again pretty soon. We'll just uh, improve the construction, that's fine. Okay. So Romania surrenders Bresbaria. Excellent. Let's see what we got. Just one dockyard and one civilian factory. Oh, two civilian factories and a military factory. I'll take it. It's fine. Completely fine. So now we'll see what happens with Poland. And I think we're going to stop here because, oh no, I need to get that land doctrine and the, the experience would be nice too, the army experience. Japanese provocation at our border. I don't know, I'm about to like, okay, he's got invader, so we're getting closer. Invasion preparation time, amphibious invasion speed plus 30%. Just keep hammering until he actually upgrades. And then once you get the upgrade, like he just did, it says extra marine supply grace plus 240 hours enables ability naval assault plan. So probably the next time around, he'll be able to get that. We'll see. And I'm going to have to send some troops back east to deal with this, these Japanese threats. And 
Invasion preparation speed plus 50%. Okay, we're not going to waste command power on that. I thought for sure we'd be able to get break him down now. Nope. I think they are starting to lose to lose some of their equipment though, so we'll see. Dang. Japanese victory at Lake Kasan. Following a clash between Soviet and Japanese forces in the border area around Lake Kasan, the Soviet forces are reportedly in full retreat. Japanese units have occupied a number of strategic hills around the area and begun to fortify their positions. During the battle, the Japanese captured a number of Soviet tanks, which have been shipped to Tokyo for evaluation. We must prepare an appropriate response. That's why this guy... Um, pops out and then he takes some of your divisions and sends them to the east. Looks like he took them mainly. Huh. Mainly from this guy? I'm not sure. Okay, so he only has eight. Ouch. Okay, military reorganization. So we get that land doctor and research bonus. We're going to stay, uh, go lessons of war after we research land doctor in once. I don't think that there's a point to getting this yet. So we'll hold off on that. Let's get some political power and get our... Na what is this? Gains National Spirit Progress Cult, which grants research speed plus 10%. So that's pretty cool. And then the extra research slots down there. Wow, I wonder if I should just cancel the justification and start all over again. That's quite a long time. Okay, so we got talented new officers. We don't need any new faction members. We're good. Let's see what else I can do. Staff office plan. Force attack. Maybe that's what I need to do just to get over there. Let's try that. Probably going to lose a lot of men there. Just slamming our way in there. Go for the improved guns first. August 1939. I think we're going to need to force the issue with Poland here. This is taking way too long. I need a war goal. I need to start invading them before uh, Germany does. So we'll get the Stalinist constitution, and then I do think that the way to go is claim on Bresbaria, then demand Eastern Poland so that we get that war goal right off the bat. Because we're not able to force the issue here, and it's taking too long to get the war goal. Either way, though, we're going to have a border with Germany. And we can just wait for Germany to do the Germany thing and invade France and then backstab them and then attack Germany, 
and force them into a war on two fronts. Okay, we're going to demand Eastern Poland. And then probably the thing to do here is to improve recovery, army regrouping rate, division recovery rate. Uh, we're not going to sign the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Okay, so this is going to come up pretty quick. And looks like we can make another airplane variant. So we're going to have excellent fighters. Excellent fighters that are not very reliable, apparently. Okay, let's just add in the new AA. Why did I do that? There we go. And this has a piercing of 60. So if I add those to the templates, we should get enough piercing to do whatever we need. Oh yeah, we need advanced machine tools for sure. Even with that extra plan, it didn't work. The Soviet Volunteer Group. Sure, we'll take the extra air experience. God, we lost so many men just trying to get this right here. Bring it in, boys. Okay, August 8th. Should get a war goal here. So it might have been a mistake to get demand Eastern Poland. Probably was. Let's get some extra resources. And declare war. So we don't need that at all. So that was an oversight on my part. Uh, you do not need to demand Eastern Poland. Okay, positive heroism. And do we need extra steel? We kind of do. So let's go for this build steel mill in Zaltaust. See what we can do here against the Polish. I think I might give up on this and actually have this guy insert this guy in the line. He could help us out quite a bit. His forces. God, this is the first time I haven't been able to get that island. wrap around that way to Danzig and um, set these guys up on strike force orders and hopefully that increases our naval presence see those convoys are coming around I probably should have put my sub my subs into different like little packets so that they could catch more of the convoys coming over so Germany's going to attack from the other side. Hopefully I can get to Warsaw. That's where all the factories are before the Germans do. At 
This is actually okay. Shouldn't matter too much. We're going to be going up against the Germans no matter what. One nice thing is now this is all connected together. So I don't have to worry about Konigsberg. Oh. Maybe we can get it before they can. We'll see. Juicy overruns. Nope, they got it. And Poland capitulates. Okay. Let's have this guy insert himself over there. So we did miss out on a few factories here. The tricky part is going to be when we invade Germany. Because they're going to immediately go for the low countries now, right? Hungary is probably going to come in. So we're going to have to be set up against the Hungarian border as well. Because they're probably going to join factions with the Germans. So I need to somehow prepare for that. We know that Norway is going to come in against the Allies, so it's going to get a little more complicated here. And some of my forces were stolen away to this stupid mission over here on the East Coast, just in case the Japanese declare war on me, which I don't think they will, but we'll see. So I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.